Hello YouTube. Um, I'm just back right now. I think this is going to be my fourth video already for the year. Um, I wasn't going to give much of an update on this, but I have got myself to a point to where I'm going to ask some questions. So I thought I'd do best if I uh, made a video of doing it. Now I've already showed, shared some of this stuff with Chris and Alex as this is uh, their dedication build or their... I'm dedicating this build to them and their channel. Um, I shared some pictures with him on Facebook of what I'd done to the cockpit and everything. And in one of their live videos they was doing over the weekend um, before I ran out to work, um, I made a comment. I asked him, is it better to have no detail versus the wrong detail? And Chris, he said the main purpose is just to have fun with it um, so I know when I'm doing my model car builds I know more about automotive than I do aircraft so I build to my liking on the automotive stuff and I done told you guys you know I'll admit to taking shortcuts and I know some stuff ain't how it's supposed to be but it looks good so I go with it I was just asking them a few questions so in the cockpit I've added wiring I've made I've I made uh, an eject lever, I made a throttle lever, uh, made a canopy lever. Um, this canopy piece here is supposed to move and close, but I don't like that gap in the back of it, so I'm going to actually leave it in the open position like it's a, a plane being, um, you know, just stored or, or showing. But I made my own exhaust, I've made my own um, gun barrels, but I've sealed all this off. I closed that wing up. I didn't care for the the gun box and the guns in there. I want this to be like more like a personal uh, plane, maybe a racer plane. I'm not too keen yet, but I opened up and rescribed these flaps here. I don't know if you guys can see that, and I made it. The gaps look a little big, but when I use automotive primer and color, they might fill in. But I opened up some of the gaps and stuff in the wing to make some of the stuff look um, what I would call functional. And then I um, don't like the way how far that the back guide wheel set inside the body there and plus I wouldn't be able to paint it and detail it the way I wanted to once it was in once it was in the little hole so I just added a piece of styrene and then my wheel will actually glue on there it gives uh, lifts the plane up a little bit more in the rear end and um, at the point to paint I uh, don't know if I'll paint the bombs uh, the bomber tanks on there yet or not but here's my question I am not going to paint it like the box because I'm afraid I won't give it the detail uh, the weathering that it would be entitled to and I just have to re-glue that door back on now um, there's the propeller but since this is a Mustang plane and I'm a Mustang fan I have these Mustangs here and if I got to talk to Big Sal today um, 69 I was on the phone with him for a little bit today and I kind of told him what I was going to do but in this quick video here this right here is the new Mustang convertible and here's the way I painted this one and I called that one the, my modern warfare Mustang because of the colors and at the time I was playing my video games pretty good so I see this paint scheme here it's actually this lime green it got a light metallic green pinstripe and then it's charcoal and then I have the lime green that's on the bottom just right there on the hood this paint scheme I really I'm leaning more to this paint scheme and this is what I told uh, Sal on the on the phone this is the more the paint scheme I'm leaning to this right here is a uh, 09 GTH and see how I have the silver, the charcoal, and the baby blue. I'm kind of going for that paint scheme. Um, then right here is my Miata Killer. I, I don't know if I have enough of this green left after talking to Sal. So I might, this paint scheme here might be out. But I have this, which you guys have seen the transit van. It's got the silver blue and the light blue. Or the sea, sea green blue. It looks blue on here. So I called it blue. And I have this paint scheme. 
Now, my son says I should paint it like this. But I know I'm not going to do it like the box says because I won't give the weathering and the detail the justice that Chris and Alex would and some of the other plain builders I follow do. So I'm going to go for a custom paint job. And I don't know would it look neat painted to match like one of these and then have the Mustang and then the plane uh, setting together for like a little picture or what. So I'm kind of, what would you guys do if you could pick the paint scheme? Would it be this style, this style, or this style? And then right there is another Mustang I done. And then I also got the Highway Patrol Mustang. Is I'm a Mustang fan, so I build quite a few Mustangs. And then, just a little quick update. Um, Gary Ruby sent me a package. And inside the package, I opened it up. I had asked him uh, about some leftover parts that he was showing for a build he had. And when I opened up his box, he sent me... Um, sent me a, a hat for the matrix system if you guys don't know what the matrix system is it's paint it's a uh, one of the paint products that I like to use um, when I'm painting my real cars and when I'm doing the models and he's uh, he's actually a retailer and he has his own matrix system so he sent me that he sent me a wicked t-shirt I really like this one and uh, it called it extreme colors and uh, I really like that. And the more paint per sprayable ounce. <laughs> and um, and it's an extreme, uh, it's an extreme colors uh, matrix system. And I used to use only extreme clear, and then it disappeared in my area. And so now I have to use. I've been using that Nason, but I use it a lot. And then he sent me. A parts kit now that ain't complete but what he had sent me with it was this body and some of the fenders and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut some of these armor spots off here for a 125th scale build that I plan on doing so he helped me out with that so I'm gonna use some of these boxes right across here some of these armor plates because it has the the rivets in it so I'm gonna cut this body up and actually add it to a 125th scale build so thank you Gary and I'm gonna cut this off he actually sent me another business card even though it's under tape I still like I still like it so I'm gonna cut it out and I'll put it on my bench next to his 44 picture so this is a little quick update from my bench and say thank you to Gary and really enjoyed our phone conversation today Sal so hope I get to talk to you again soon I hope you get feeling better and guys this is just a great hobby to share with one another and I hope you guys um, keep 2015 just as excited as last year was and I'll see you when I get more updates on this plane thank you everybody have a good day
Well, the angels 